Hey, what's going on, eSkate community? This is Live to eSkate coming at you with my first video on this Meepo Hurricane. This one's for all you hurricane owners or soon-to-be owners, as shipping does take quite a while sometimes, if depending on the method you chose. I chose sea shipping, so it did take a while, but finally got my board, happy and everything. A few little errors, but Meepo is helping me kindly with those. Thought I'd post this short, quick video on how I made this handle for the board actually as I have posted on Facebook just a couple pictures of it and got a lot of positive feedback so I thought some of you might appreciate a little how to make this so the handle itself is just a cheap kayak handle I found on AliExpress you could probably find it on Amazon as well but it'll run you a few more dollars but it'll come a little sooner than AliExpress as those just come directly from China usually um so there are a few different options for handles you got this one's directly from meepo's website you can see it's it's pretty sleek it is a little uncomfortable for my hand you can see my knuckles like just like bash into the bottom base there and then this one is a kayak handle but it's a little flimsy not really something you want to stick on heavy board like this this guy is more tactical looking very thick, very nice, sturdy, and this is what I decided to add to the board. There are a few different options, different patterns over here, as well as different hole patterns. You may want to get something with more than one hole so you can like kind of choose where the placement would be when you're putting it on your board. I got a, sing uh, a single hole in the center, which is not the right fit for the Meepo Hurricane and I had to drill a hole as you can see on this guy here and I just needed to make sure that it would be the same size as the threading you don't want to make it too big or the top of the bolt will go straight through that's not what you're looking for so over here I got M5 by 20 millimeter screws that's just the length of the thread the 20 millimeters and M5 is the size of the screw as well as the little hex key you'll be using. And then at the ends of the screws, I just got these little caps. They make it look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing in my opinion, which is why I, got, I grabbed them. They were only a couple dollars, so it was absolutely worth it. And then, um, yeah, so a little quick install. I'll show you that real quick. So once you took out your original M5 screw, you can take your handle with a drilled hole. You might want to line it up first before you drill it, or you can get one that already has a hole in this location, but not too sure if it will fit, but you'll definitely be able to kind of like play with it and get it to fit. You might be able to add a washer if you made your hole too big, you know, just like the average little DIYs, just playing around and make it how you'd like to make it. So once you grab your handle, grab your longer M5 by 20 screw, stick that in there. And you just wanna make sure it lines up with the threading inside. Start tightening it by hand. You can take your Allen wrench and tighten it the rest of the way. You do want to be sure not to strip the screw over here, but can't be too cautious. Yeah, so that's what it's going to look like. It will be a little wiggly, but should be fine as long as your screw is tight. It's got enough threads in there to keep it from coming loose. And then these little caps if you decide to get them they pop right on just like that they don't look like they're gonna come out unless you know you hit it with your foot but odds of that happening are pretty low but yeah so that's how it is that's how you carry it and it really helps reduce the weight compared to how the original board would be held just by the side or um maybe by I don't even know where else you would hold it 
sports not really meant to be held unless like you really need to maybe going grocery shopping or something but yeah hope you guys enjoy this video please leave a like maybe subscribe and hopefully i'll come out with some more content on some little diys for this board or any other board i got in the future i also got a zealot s by backfire that's a pretty sweet board decided to go with a little all-terrain upgrade and yeah so thank you all take it easy and keep skating one thing I did want to add real quick was the placement of the handle. You could either choose the top rail here or there's a lower one here. Don't worry about the all the way bottom one. But for the middle one, you might be able to put the handle there. I haven't even tried it, but seems like it'll fit pretty similar. It's just it will be a little lower to the ground. Maybe rocks flying up or something. You don't want really too much nonsense going on in this area, which is why I just kept it as high as it could be. And yeah, so some people might be asking what this extra little string is. Just a piece of bungee. No idea why it's there. It's, it is a kayak handle, so it's probably got its own purpose for that. But yeah, I just kept it on.